welcome back to my channel my name is vicky and i love all things fragrance body care beauty and i love a good haul so if that sounds like something you're interested in hit that subscribe button and stay tuned so i have another layering video and this one is mostly along the gourmand side so if you're interested then just keep on watching okay so i'm currently doing a project use it up and one well a thing in there is my full set to brazilian crush number 62 i'm doing really well on this one so this is probably going to be gone the next time i use it um and i still have a ways to go in the body cream but i mean i feel like i've gotten some really good use out of it because i've been using this a lot over the last few days so let's get into these combinations um the first one i have on here is i used my um number 62 butter with my tom ford soleil blanc spray and I also used the Whipped Almond Perfume from Mix Bar, which is around here somewhere. Let me find it. Here we go. Here's the Whipped Almond. So this has been, well, this scent specifically has been in the rotation heavily for the last four days. And I've been really enjoying it. So another combo that I have been enjoying using this with has been mixing this with Christmas cookies from Bath and Body Works. And I have also, I still have been using this in the rotation, but to that, I also added in number 71, which is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia. And for the perfumes, I used whipped almond again with pistachio brulee, which y'all, I'm not going to tell you how many perfumes are sitting up here. These two together is just everything. This right here smells so good so it's like a crunchy cookie if that makes sense and i almost wish i would have been using my praline i think it's the praline crunch shower gel i have from philosophy but i'm trying to get um that sol de janeiro um one used up which i could just layer them together but i've been using the caramel drizzle shower gel because that one's freaking huge and i feel like i have to you know be intentional about getting through that one because it's so big i say all of that to say this right here had me smelling like a very crunchy cookie and it was everything next i feel like this combo has already been on my channel but i cannot be bothered to go back and find it um so i use my trader joe's brazil nut body butter and I also use my full set to Sunset Glow from Bath & Body Works. Love layering these two together. And I also added in my Brazilian Crush Fragrance Mist from Sol de Janeiro, as well as the matching perfume. So together, that just gave me a very warm, beachy, cozy vibe that I absolutely love layering. So next, this has a lot of moving parts, so do with it what you will. I used my full set to At The Beach. Um, and wait, did I? I don't know if I used the lotion to At The Beach. I might have. I can't remember but just visualize this with me okay i used my set to at the beach i also included some copper coconut sands and with that i also included my tan lines fragrance mist from sol de janeiro this is rich auntie on vacation like i've said a couple of times i also have a soleil blanc um perfume oil from fragrant body oils that i added into my lotion when applying and the perfumes i layered with that were lake de coco from gourmand beauty with utopia vanilla coco from kaali so these two is already you know a nice little coconut vibe it's just adding it to the body care it's just you know everything and all the pieces are interchangeable whatever you have you can use so that's what i had and i like layering them together so next is a combo that i tried and fell in love with and i layered beach nights with hot cocoa and cream i promise y'all this is this may be a wild card it may not be a wild card 
but these two together was just everything for me because i feel like it's so easy for us to play up that marshmallow note which i did that'll be the next one but i wanted to try something else so i added the hot cocoa and cream because it has that s'mores accord and it just smelled so so good together and the perfume i used with that is orchid vanille by van cleef and arpels and this is a it's an orange chocolate like you can definitely smell that orange note in here but it just smells so good and i feel like if you wanted to use a different chocolate scent you could you could probably use chocolate greedy from montal if you have it or um uh, be layered has a dupe to that and you could probably even try Prada candy night if you wanted to so next i went the marshmallow route and i took beach nights with marshmallow sugar from goose creek this marshmallow sugar lotion is just so yummy i promise you goose creek is on my ish list but i cannot deny how good this smells so if you love a marshmallow scent okay and you haven't gotten your nose on it i highly recommend you um try that out and i used the fragrance mist to beach nights and i also paired it with marshmallow cloud i found this at cvs so and i think you can find this on amazon as well i'm pretty sure my twin has a link somewhere so um check out her amazon store for that and the perfumes i layered with that are so the perfumes i i first use my princess oil from fragrant body oils the label is a little like rubbed off but i mean you can kind of see it but i use the princess oil from fragrant body oils and killian's princess and that's what made me realize i needed to have more of princess in my life because princess was this almost made it to my overhyped list that i did but using that marshmallow combo i was like all right all right you know i liked it but i thought that it was a little hype but this combo made me appreciate princess a whole lot more so next this combo had me in a chokehold for a couple of days so i had to i had to let it go and move on to something else and that is pear creme brulee and warm vanilla sugar these two together just had me in such a can i actually see through that now I think I can see through this. I think my body cream's down here. Let me hold that down. I think my body cream's looking like it's right about here. This had me in a choke hold, okay? And now if y'all already know, you gotta let me some pear creme brulee. And especially now that I have that shower gel, I've been dogging it, which I will say layering that shower gel for pear creme brulee with the honey body wash amazing so i do want to try pear creme brulee with the honey lotion see how it works but this had me in the choco because i mean can you ever go wrong with the pear vanilla combo and i think not so these next few ones are gonna all be wild cards i've been doing some experimenting with the sass scents so here are a couple of combinations i've come up with i had to i had to leave them alone because i need to get back into my project use it up mode but here is what i have started with so this first one i'm gonna i don't know if apple fritter is the correct way to think about it but i'm gonna kind of say this is kind of like an apple fritter kind of not but i took the cinnamon donut swirl lotion with the coconut candy apple um fragrance mist and because this has that spice note i think that it just, you know, helped a lot, especially when dealing with the brown sugar and cinnamon note in here. So to me, um, in my mind, if I, you know, fought real hard, <laughs> layering these two together, you know, kind of gave me a vibe. And the fragrance I used, let me see. So I know I definitely used the Creme Vanille from Gourmand Beauty. And I can't remember if I used the chai eclair or the chai spice um it could have been either one of these i don't remember i should probably have pulled the picture up but it's one of these i don't know which one i know this definitely smells like a spiced cookie in the event anyone was wondering and this smells like the chai spice note they smell similarly but this one definitely has more of that cookie flair to it Actually, I might have added this to one of my Sol de Janeiro combinations now that I'm... I don't know, y'all. I, 
I've been doing a whole lot of a whole lot of with experimenting, so I just can't keep up. But I layered all those together and you know it was pretty decent to me. So I felt like I said before with this, I don't know what video, maybe in the haul, this is a very versatile scent. So I think you can layer this with um some apple scents you might have. I might try this out with um champagne honey is it app whatever that scent is the champagne apple honey whatever that scent's called i think i might try this out with that and i'm also going to try this with the trader joe's pumpkin butter because that one smells more like apple spice to me so i would like to try this out with that as well and maybe even do this whole thing with that you know once the fall comes kind of tricky layering this now because it gives me more of a fall vibe um i tried to add this to raspberry sugar that was a fail because that raspberry was too sugary for this um but i do want to try this with um champagne sprinkles which i think i've said already i need to get around to doing that um, whenever I take a project use it up break, I'll probably revisit. I need to bring that back because I have one more combo with it. <laughs> so I layered it with wild cherry from pink and this, you know, smelled pretty good. And I was on the fence because there is a cherry lotion I have from Goose Creek, which also would have been done really well in this combo. So if you have either or, I feel like they'd be interchangeable. I use my sugar cherry crisp fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. And what did I use for fragrance? First, I pulled out my Lost Cherry Oil from Fragrant Body Oils. I promise y'all I'm not sponsored. I bought all the stuff with my own money. Um, and I used my um, Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. Well, I used my Dossier um, dupe of Lost Cherry because, you know what I mean? Um, and I also pulled out my Invite Only invite only amber 23 from kaoli so these two together is very nice this is a smoky scent it's definitely a smoky but i can still smell the cherry note in here and i absolutely enjoy that scent so there's that i don't really have like a name for it so i just added a foodie scent to something that i would have already i probably would have already layered these two probably already have would have put these two together with those fragrances but just adding in that cinnamon donut one just you know gave them a little extra oomph so this next one is probably also a wild card but maybe not if you think about it so i took the orange vanilla twist i have the fragrance mist somewhere listen once i did that tropical series i finished it i didn't realize how many fragrance mists i had out so now everything's like stuffed away and I'm still trying to still trying to figure out how I'm gonna store everything. Anyways, I mixed orange vanilla twist with hot cocoa and cream and y'all. I didn't know how much I enjoyed the scent of orange chocolate until well until I did um Orchidea Vanille by Van Cleef, which is the perfume I used with this. Because this is orange chocolate and here we go we got more orange chocolate and i have vanilla 28 sitting here because i forgot to mention it in the last few ones so this was in my cherry combo and i forgot to mention it but it was there and it was also in my pear creme brulee combo so with pear creme brulee and warm vanilla sugar i also use this and I don't know how I missed this big old bottle sitting right in front of me. So I was going to make this my last one, but I do have a wild card that I wore yesterday that I'm just going to toss in here anyways. Um, but I used my full set to whip rose latte and I tossed in the love rose vanilla scent from the aromatherapy line. Absolutely enjoy this whole rose scent um, for both parts. And the... Let me these out so the fragrances wait i'm missing something again um i'm not about to go well i have to go get up to grab the other items but um i use the roses vinny oil from fragrant body oils and i um use roses vinny and exalte by fumi monet <sighs> i don't even know how to i don't even know where to start if you enjoy a rose scent then you can't go wrong with either of these um 
it's something about the that rose note that's in these that's just everything and this is a sweet rose vanilla because it has a sugar note in here and um this is it's a little spice but it still smells very similar to this so i felt like i couldn't go wrong by layering these two together and it was just everything okay so this is gonna be the last layering combination and this is a wild card okay um so i paired together strawberry soda with watermelon lemonade something about this scent makes it hard for me to wear because it's just so strong it's just so like sweet and i just don't always find that i'm enjoying strawberry soda i find that i just add it into things because i'm trying to use it up so i was thinking maybe i could add a citrus note to it so that's why i had picked up watermelon lemonade in the first place this is my backup i don't know listen i can't find nothing okay um I said all that to say, I layered these two together and number one, it made me enjoy this so much more that I needed to get a backup. But layering these two together made this way more tolerable for me. So I find that I'm gonna get the most use out of strawberry soda by layering it with watermelon lemonade. To me, they smell so good together. That lemon note in here, that sugared lemon, just it's everything now. Okay, <laughs> for the perfumes, um <laughs> i pulled out my montal's mukalat and this is um a very artificial strawberry it smells kind of like strawberry candy or like strawberry car air freshener or something it's very strawberry not like a real strawberry scent which is perfect for strawberry soda because it doesn't smell like real strawberries neither and to help like with that i threw in the punch of fruits from gourmand beauty and this is just very fruity and sweet so to me it just smelled like a, a drink so it's a wild card um for me because strawberry soda is a wild card to me um but I actually really did like layering these two together. So that's everything for this layering video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.